Hello, everyone. Hi, it's Friday. I hope you're well. Um, it's time to celebrate. So it's our celebration assembly where we say congratulations to people who've been putting in lots of work. And those people will be getting a certificate that looks a bit like this, which is great. So I'm going to be quiet and move on to the next slide. So first of all, we've got Rudy in Owls. Rudy gets the award this week because he wrote a great list of nocturnal animals using his sounds, and then he decided he would write a list of diurnal animals too. He always puts in 100% effort, uh, and like today, often extends an activity to continue learning. Great news, Rudy. Um, there is another sort of animal. You've got the uh, nocturnal and diurnal. I wonder if everybody knows what diurnal means. But there's another group of animals which are called crepuscular. I wonder if you can find out what that group of animals is. Anyway, Rudy, great writing, great sounds. Can we give Rudy a big round of applause, please? <laughs> Next up, we've got Arsh. Arsh in Robbins is a fantastic learner because he just loves to write. Another person doing fantastic writing. He loves to practice his handwriting and his pencil grip is really improving. Look at all the mmms on the pe on his whiteboard that he's written. He enjoys making books and writing interesting stories. That's amazing. Can we give Arsh a big round of applause, please? Next up, we've got Adam, Adam in Blackbirds. He's been working so hard since the start of term and can now write his names and some CVC words. A CVC word is a word like dog or cat. Um, he heard the sounds in the word and then he wrote them down on his board and you can see them there. They are upside down, but if you just twist your head around, you can see it says Adam and dog. Um, he's using his pincer grip to hold his pen and he's shown lots of resilience by not giving up. Can we give Adam a big round of applause, please? Moving on, and we've got Ava in Chaffinches, and she's been working really hard in handwriting sessions to improve what's called her precursive handwriting. Cursive handwriting is joined handwriting, and precursive is the skills that you need to be able to do joined writing later. Ava is determined to get better at this and has a super can do attitude. She is becoming confident enough and sh to start using this in her English book as well. So that's great news. Can we give Ava a big round of applause, please? <laughs> Next up is Archie. Um, Archie uh, has really taken off as a learner this term. He particularly impressed uh, his teacher with his maths work this week. Archie listened and watched carefully so that he could understand how to use counters to work out the missing parts of the whole uh, in the part whole models. He then practiced this and was able to have a go more independently the following day. That's great news. Can we give Archie a big round of applause, please? Next up, we've got Oakley in Mallard's class. Um, he's increasingly focused on his learning and is making positive decisions to support this. By building on his resilience and willingness to give things a try, he's making real achievements. He's engaging with all the home learning and this is reflected uh, in the work he's completing in class. He's also shown to be a positive working partner, displaying the value of um, the, the, the learning skill of reciprocity, which is what he's doing really well. So he's, not only is he good at working on his own, but he's really good with working with others. So can we give Oakley a big round of applause, please? <laughs> Next up is Amira. Um, and you can see what Amira's award's for. is for persevering when maths was really tricky um, until she could add the two-digit numbers together independently. And you can see there what Amira's done is she's used lots of bits of equipment. And that's the thing about maths. People often think, oh, I need to be able to do it in my head. Well, you do eventually, but actually being able to use the equipment really helps you understand um, the processes that you're going through. So I think Amira, you're doing a really good job at learning. Can we give Amira a big round of applause, please? Um, the award this week goes to, in Poppins' class, goes to Lena. Um, Lena is an excellent learner as she's able to make links and connections and spot patterns. Uh, this then strengthens what she's learned. In the picture, she was explaining that she noticed that when you add a 10 to a number, the ones column stays the same. Um, but when you add ones, sometimes both columns change. 
Uh, this showed a great understanding and it in turn deepens her understanding of what she's doing. That's great and that's what we all need to be doing. We need to be deepening our understanding. Can we give Lena a big round of applause please? <laughs> Moving on to Ravens. Uh, Ravens has, uh, is award goes to Madison. She's shown excellence and resourcefulness in the classroom. Madison asks questions throughout her learning to try and understand the subject deeper. This has also been shown outside of school. Madison went to Bristol Museum last weekend and enjoyed the Ancient Egypt exhibition, which she shared with the class on Seesaw. It's brilliant to see such enthusiasm for learning, not only inside school, but outside of school as well. Can we give Madison a massive round of applause, please? Uh, in Buzzard's class, we've got Omar. He has produced an amazing Iron Age hill fort model during the learning both last week uh, and this one. He worked carefully to create and paint his base out of papier-mâché. Next, he placed his outer fence around using toothpicks. Finally, he cut out and coloured his roundhouses to finish his model. A marvellous achievement. Can we give Omar a big round of applause, please? Well done, Omar. In Swifts this week, the award goes to Sara. Um, they have been identifying the types of words that will help um, when describing a place. These include things like adjectives and prepositions. Um, prepositions are where are words that tell you where something is, and adjectives are describing words. Sara has shown reflectiveness by taking her time and thinking about what she's learned. As a result, she's written a great setting description, which doesn't tell me what the place is like, instead it shows um, shows what it's like. And that's great and um, yeah, brilliant. Can we give uh, Sarah a big round of applause please? Well done. <laughs> Next up is uh, Heron's class and the award this week goes to Akira, who's worked to the best of her ability in every single lesson so far in year four. Akira has achieved math tests results which are incredible and this just shows how resilient she is and how well she is making links and applying her understanding. In addition Akira has such enthusiasm for reading and this was in a, has inevitably helped with her maths reasoning. That's the thing is, is you need reading. Reading is this core skill that you need to be able to do other things. So I know lots of people say oh I really like maths but I don't like reading but actually to be good at maths you need to be able to read well. Um, and that's something I think that people forget. Reading is a skill that crosses over all subjects. And it's a really important skill that you must, must um, learn. So Akira, that's great news. Well done for keeping up with your reading and well done with your great scores. Can we give Akira a big round of applause, please? <laughs> Next up, I've got Aria. Um, in Starling's class, she has been an excellent learner because she's been demonstrating her resourcefulness in her writing. Aria has been enjoying reading different stories by William Shakespeare recently, so she decided to adapt the story of Romeo and Juliet to fit with a Roman setting for her progress write. What a great idea! Um, Mr Mercer has loved hearing about her reading at home and it's brilliant to see her taking inspiration from other writers, William Shakespeare quite an important writer as well. Can we give Aria a big round of applause, please? In Goldcrest this week, the award goes to Ty. Um, she gets the award for reciprocity, for being like Arbot 4. Part of being a reciprocal, don't know if I said that right, Reciprocal, that's the word, sorry. Part of being reciprocal is discovering how others think and feel and picking up their good habits. Uh, Tay wrote a short story inspired by her studies of Pompeii and we can clearly see how being a regular, enthusiastic reader enables her to use features of good writing. For example, a good opener on one peculiar day, she wrote, speech punctuation and short dramatic sentences. When Antony arrived, he got two fast horses. Um, and so this is somebody who's a keen reader, who's becoming a great writer. And that's the thing, again, I, you know, I go on about reading all the time, but it's such an important skill that we all must get good at. So can we give Tay a massive round of applause, please? Well done, Tay. <laughs> so.
So um, in Dove's class, the award goes to Jasmine. Uh, both Miss Shaw and Mrs Long were so impressed with her determination and effort with her progress right this week. She took real care over her work. Her presentation and organisation are an example for others to follow. She's also got some brilliant creative ideas and great vocabulary choices to describe the imaginary creature for this non-chronological report. Like the creature lives in a castle on the top of a hill overlooking the forest at the bottom. That's a great word. Uh, she should be really proud of herself because her teachers are. So well done, Jasmine. Big round of applause, please. So in Razor Bills, the award goes to Tilly. Um, and Tilly gets the award because of her wonderful focus and resilience in English. Um, they've been working on including relative clauses in their writing to stretch our writing and make our sentences more complex. Tilly found this tricky at first. And that's great because whenever you try something new, it is always a bit tricky. But because of Tilly's resilience and determination when they practised, she is now including relative clauses in her writing beautifully. She also practiced writing complex sentences at home and shared them on Seesaw, which was, again, great to see. This is brilliant. Can we give Tilly a big round of applause, please? So in the Eagles uh, this week, the award goes to Serene. Serene came to Two Mile Hill in September from Hong Kong and has settled into school here so well. She is an excellent learner because she always tries her hardest and is doing so well, especially considering English is not her first language. She always takes care and effort with her work, as you can see from this photo. Uh, she produced a fantastic map showing where the Vikings invaded and settled in Britain. And, I was, um, and her teacher was also really impressed with the marking and editing of her fluency. And that's great news. Can we give Serene a big round of applause, please? Well done, Serene. The award in Sandpiper's class this week goes to Pablo. Pablo deserves the award this week for his continued effort and positive attitude to his learning. Uh, and this is a real tribute. Well done, Pablo, because what Pablo is doing is he's demonstrating integrity. He's showing that he knows what the right thing to do is and he's doing it. Um, Pablo works hard to stay focused and complete the work set in the time given. He also ensures that he contributes to class discussions and often poses thought-provoking questions when we are reading our class book. And that's great news, Pablo, because that's a, a real turnaround. So can we give Pablo uh, a big round of applause, please? Well done, Pablo. And last up uh, this week is Lucas. Uh, Lucas gets the award because he's fitted in so well in Magpie's class. Uh, Lucas only joined us recently, but he has worked so hard throughout the week, adjusting to the new rules, values and expectations that moving schools uh, brings. Um, I would say that this really demonstrates that Lucas has, uh, is, is full of respect because he's come to somewhere new and he's, he's respecting our systems, he's respecting the way that we do things and he is becoming uh, an amazing Two Mile Hill pupil himself. So keep up the hard work, Lucas. Uh, and welcome to Two Mile Hill. We're so happy to have you here with us uh, and long may it last. Can we give uh, Lucas a big round of applause, please? So that's it for this week. Um, well done to all those people. You've been brilliant. Uh, fantastic to see so many people getting an awards. Um, so I would like to say um, I'm very, very. I continue to be really impressed with the way that you are playing with each other, and I know that this week has been anti-bullying week, um, and it's all uh, and it was all about being kind because that's what is so important is when we are kind to each other, um, people are kind to us. So I would say keep up that what you're doing. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday. Take lots of care. Bye. Shall I shrink? Yeah, go on then. Bow, 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 bow.